Okay, Wild Horse Girl giving you a tour of my barn. This is going to be my first video on YouTube, so I hope you like it and I apologize in advance for anything that's like bad lighting or anything like that. And also, if you want to see anything in detail, just leave it in the comments. And I will try to post a video of it as soon as I can. So when you come in, you see this sign. Welcome to River Star Stables and it shows what we offer so you can pause that and read it if you want to and then we have our front door and then some just some of my crafting stuff that I've been because I've been doing a lot of stuff but um so you go inside and here's three stalls they're all three empty right now because most of my horses are out the pasture but this is checkers stall stall guard so checkers stall this is Starbucks and gingerbread stall and this is my jelly bean stall. Okay. Um, sorry. So then this is just a random bucket of apples and carrots. And I have a fish food lid. Like, you know, the jar of fish food. And I'm using the lid because it works well for a food or water dish. So, that's my water dish in there. Got our goat Cinnabon. So I really like her. She's adorable. We got my Falabella mare. Her name is Clover. So she's eventually going to walk around. She's going to have eventually these guys, all five of these guys you're seeing right now, are going to be allowed to walk around the barn. But right now they're the um, full and the kids are still too young. So, but this is Pepper, my stallion. He is so cute. I cannot even describe how much I love him. He is so adorable. Then we got their little girl, Cookie, who I'm hoping to get a second Falabella pony. Full, Philly, cult, whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a Philly or cult, but I'm using this one as a Philly so she could have a um, brother or sister that I would customize to make look adorable. This is my piglet, Swabby and Hall piglet. But, um, doesn't have a name, so leave names. If I say to leave a name, just, like, leave a name in the comment box. And say, okay, for the pig, name ideas for the pig, or, like, there's a couple other guys that I need later on, so. This is, I'm not sure if I'm going to use these for stables or wash dolls, so. Y'all can, like, recommend on there, but, um, this is Starbucks. So, um, I'm just going to show you how big it is. The Hanoverian Mayor. The 2013 Hanover Mayor. So, that's how big it is. So, it's plenty spacious. But, um, so, I'll show you our small outdoor pasture. So, this is gingerbread. And you just saw Starbucks. These are my, um, halters. So, I just made hers, like, five minutes ago. But it just slips over their ears, like this. Er, okay. Here we go just slips over the ears like that and it has a hook at the bottom for lead ropes and a hook on either side so I'm just going to leave that off her right now. Then this is Jelly Bean, my zebra foal we adopted. Another one that I need you guys to recommend some names for because I know that you guys have some great ones so my cow calf that does not have a name but she, um, my cow calf lives in the same stall as Jelly Bean, so Jelly Bean won't get lonely, so they won't get lonely. They stay in there together. And then this is our main gate, partly because it's our only gate. Coming through here, this is just an empty stall because I'm hoping to get some more soon. So, it's just an empty stall with a stall guard and another halter. And um, I make these chain lead ropes, different sizes and sh um, lengths and stuff. So, it's just like a, um, well, it's not really a lead rope, it's like a lasso. just goes over their neck, and you can lead them around by that. Then, that's Magic's stall, and Magic is still a bit wild, so we're trying to tame her. But, so, right now we have two lead ropes that are extra long for her. Sorry, him. Magic is a boy. This is Magic. But, um, this is our... So we use it as a indoor paddock sometimes. So right now it's a paddock, but it also is our riding arena. So if it's not being ridden, the one thing ridden in there, then we'll just use it like this. Another one of the fish food containers 
for a um, bucket. This is Snowflake. I customized him. He's wearing a halter. So then you just saw magic. This is actually a people, but he's really cute and he is about the right size, so but he's people, not slight. This is Duke. He's one of my he is one of my first ones, not my very first though, but he was one of my earlier retreat models. But um yeah, so this is I only have I don't have very many of the blankets. Oh, and sorry, I forgot I have a few hooks over there that have some chain leads and the pony or the pony blanket sorry okay no hold up from right there and then this is the retired shire horse so he's he's gonna be a show horse so his show name is thunderhoof but here we just call him thunder for the most normally we'll call him thunder i might call him thunderhoof sometimes though as you can see, he is scratched up pretty bad, but part of that is because my grandma got him for me at a dollar store. So he has like a marker permanently written on there, one ninety nine. I don't know if you could see that very well, but um, got a stall guard type thing there, and we got two of the racks. I don't know what you'd want to call them, but two of the tie up thingies with checkers, a pinto yearling, and she's out here with Apache, the retired Appaloosa. He was my very first slike, slike, sorry. So he's very special to me. And he, this is his first time out of his stall in a few days because he hurt his leg when he was running in the pasture. He escaped with some of my other horses so while he was running around. But right now he's coming over here to get water. This is Kinsey. She's the only person I have, but I should be getting more soon. So, Magic Stall, Snowflake Stall, Apache Stall, and Apache has that. Another one of those tie racks. Back here, Doghouse I made out of popsicle sticks with Smokey. So, that's our Husky, male Husky. It can also be doubled as a cage, which is why it has a chain. So, and then up here is kind of a loft where my person stays sometimes. But I just have like some food and like treats and stuff up here. Oats and different stuff like that. And under here you can't see it well, sorry, but um we get them out so you can see a little bit better. That's my bunny pen back there. So I have the red bunny hutch that they make. So this is Oreo and Sweetie Pie. Yes, I know, they're very so thoughtful, but I named them when I was younger and I'm leaving them that way, so Sweetie Pie and Oreo, and another one that you guys need to name, the Hedgehog, who is currently living with my bunnies, because he likes them, he or she, so, I don't know, but, yeah, so I need name ideas for him, I'm just kind of toss him back over here, then, this is a mare and foal barn that I built, all of my stalls that I have right now, like, everything is homemade, just about. So this is Silver Mist wearing one of my halters and her full flicka. I love the little star on her face. Little blaze. Star, whatever you want to call it. And then this is Elliot, the retired Shire full Billy. So she's looking through to see her friend Flicka. And little lady, and please guys do not be mad at me for doing this, but um, I have a horse in real life that looks just like the Tennessee Walker, but it's a girl and not a stallion, so I'm just switching up these two, so this is going to be the mayor for my Tennessee Walkers, and when I get the Tennessee Walker stallion, I'm going to have the stallion be the mayor. I mean, I'm going to have the mayor be the stallion, and this, even though he's the stallion technically, I'm going to use him as a mayor. Because he looks like my mare, so. Then, that is Thunderhoof's stall. And Duke's stall. Duke. So, that's that for down there. Then up here we just have a random thing. This used to be one of my pastures. I don't really use it anymore. Because it's so small and because I've updated, so. But, and then up here I just have some other animals. So I have four wolves. And a wolf pup, Arctic fox, 
the German Shepherd. This is not a slash like, but it's about the right size. Long story short, I played with him as the dad for that guy. Australian Shepherd puppy. This one does have a name. This is one of the the very like the only animal up here that actually has a name. So he's Aslan. And his daughters don't have names either, but that's his daughter and his adopted daughter. And got my cheetah and cheetah cub. And all my little pups up here. So if you have any name ideas for any of them, just comment. Alright, well, bye guys.